you for talking to us on TVC News at 1. Let's now turn attention to Akwaibom State, where the Commissioner for Commissioner of Police has asked political parties to conduct themselves ahead of the local government election tomorrow. He stated this at a meeting with the candidates at the police headquarters. He warns that anyone who perpetrates violence will be made to face the law. Let this election come and go peacefully. Because no matter what you do from our end here, you will discover that the true peace will always evolve from your people. So we are looking forward to a very fruitful election. On our own part, we are ready. We are going to cover this, the whole state along with our sister agencies. And um, we will ensure that we create that enabling environment for a very peaceful election. And also the aftermath, which means our police action will be before, during, and after the local government election. So we wanted to sustain that peace. Let that brotherly would continue. We are all acquired evil might. The election will commence by 8 and end by 2.30. And we are doing simultaneous accreditation and voting. That means when you go, every voter should go with the, pool, with the ballot, with the voter's card, and get accredited and vote. After that, counting will be done. And at the ward level, like I said, collation will be done for the chairman and the councillors. Declaration for councillors will be done while the result of the chairman is taken to the LG and declared after collation, declaration will be done. So we don't expect anybody to come to you to stand to expect results because the results are with the people at the level of elections. In Jigawa State, chairmanship candidates from 11 political parties have signed a peace accord with the state police command. TVC News correspondent Yusuf Isa reports that this is to promote law and order, peaceful campaigns, and also to avoid hate speech. Stakeholders committed to peace and fairness in Jigawa State. The state is set for a successful election scheduled for October peeps. The Jigawa State Commissioner of Police emphasized the importance of maintaining peace during and after the elections, urging candidates to avoid all forms of political violence. He assured of maximum security with a large deployment of officers and men to ensure a hate free elections. According to him, the police and other security agencies will remain neutral and non-partisan. So on this note, I want to reiterate that all hands should be on deck to ensure that this election is devoid of any violence, any rancor, any complaint, or anything that will mar or make it or discredit it. So I want you to join hand with us to enable us to provide the necessary security all over the state to ensure that this election is conducted peacefully and hitch free. Awal Muhammad Harbu, chairman of Jigar State Independent Electoral Commission, represented by his permanent commissioner, pledged to conduct free, fair, and credible elections. He noted that JSEC operates independently and it maintains high professional standards. So let us assure you that um, from the State Electoral Commission, we are ready to conduct pre and fair election and also to ensure that who wins the election is the credible uh, uh, winner of the election. Some opposition party representatives urged the Electoral Commission to ensure justice and fairness, warning that any misappropriation could lead to violence. The peace accord signing marks a crucial step toward ensuring peaceful elections in Jagan State. Some political analysts 
insists that conducting local government elections is vital for local government autonomy in Nigeria, enabling grassroots development and democratic participation. Yusuf Isa, TBC News, Tugawa. Kogi State Government is